Oh, there it is. Hello, welcome to Heroes of Might and Magic 3, Horn of Abyss, Terrors of the Sea. Um, this is the second time I'm doing this now. Like most of these Horn of the Abyss uh, campaigns, I've had to basically restart after spending a fair bit of time. I got a month into this and then I just basically lost because I took the mistake of going for experience with the treasure chest instead of gold. Now, you know me, I'm normally the greedy type. I always go for gold. But I wanted to try going for experience this time, and it backfired. Because whilst the skills that I got from experience were cool and helpful, I soon found myself experience capped, and then all the combat I was having, I was getting no real benefit from it. And then I didn't have enough money for troops, and then I got very easily destroyed. So it's another one of those difficult levels, and this time, I don't think I did too much wrong in the last level. It's just, this time, just go for gold. Go for gold, and you'll get experience from combat anyway. So, Terror of the Seas, the mysterious Horn of the Abyss was hiding from the eyes of the mortals for too long. Sooner or later, someone would desire it. Is it a chain of co uh, consequences or a random chance? Hard to say, Jeremy and Bidley do not realize what adventure awaits them with their desire to get the horn. Prisoner of Doom, Bidley has to capture the city of Sargand in order to save the barbarian's prisoner. The maximum hero level cap is 12. After victory, Bidley will proceed to the next scenario of the campaign. Hard difficulty, three crewmates, three nomads, two pirates. Going with two pirates. In the Bar's Legends, almost everybody, everyone starts with a hero, sitting in a tavern. Who knew that the gossip of drunkard would turn into a great adventure that would change the whole world? Nobody, of course, and definitely not Bidley. He was sitting and drinking cheap beer, listening to an old pirate tell a tale about a prisoner who was said to be kept in a magical prison. Bidley thought that it was probably some powerful mage, probably from Bracada. He also thought that the generosity of such prisoner would be well generous. Unfortunately, Bidley was not aware of the existence of Sanfar, the well-known mage. Sanfar was not fond of pirates at all. The fate, however, sent Bidley to rescue his old nemesis, and this was the beginning. Bidley disliked the shores of Krulod, the stench of dirty orc and goblin bodies, their mumbo-jumbo tongue, their complete lack of any culture, their preference for brute force as a solution to any problem. He preferred the songs of Arathian bards, the artwork of elven artisans, and the wines of Jadam. He had all of that back at home in Regna, contrary to the common prejudice which took pirates to be nearly barbarians. It is true that some of them are low-brow types among the young and the foolish, and plenty of his people would easily be accepted into a company of crew lot of swashbucklers. But there are also plenty of intelligent and civilized, uh, civilized people among the captains and admirals. Bidley left the shark chowder in, musing. If that drunkard was right and the barbarians had truly captured such a powerful wizard, then the Picarda sorceresses, uh, sorcerers would be very happy if he was rescued. And this would mean that the pirates could not only expect a generous reward, but could also win the right to pillage ships near the shores of Prakada, as long as they didn't hurt the barbarians, uh, the wizards of course, it was worth a shot. The barbarians were currently holding their festival of life as a Regna native, Bidley would never really understand the celebration. Duke Baragas was dead and even crueler and shrewd young barbarian Lord Kilgar was taking his place. Krulod was always on the edge of an anarchy, but right now it was closer than usual, Bidley's feet was far away but he didn't have much need of it instead he would gather some bold local fellows capture one of the closest crulod forts and assault sargron from there the motley tribes were busy cutting each other down for no reason at all for a few coins they'd be happy to attack whoever he told them to bidley stopped to pass by clearly not a local hey fellow where's the local uh, closest crulod army fort straight north by the road answered the stranger laconically as he continued his journey Woo! okay bit of speech there so this is Bidley. Bidley is one of the most successful pirates operating near Arafia shores. He is ready to accept any challenges and able to emerge unscathed from any situation. It seems that he has a rival in every world's corner, but he's always able to escape the trouble. Apart from being an excellent warrior, having artisan skills in both pistols and saber wielding, he also trained his crew personally. So his speciality is sea dogs, so he can upgrade these into sea dogs so they would normally upgrade into courses and then they can go to sea dogs they got no enemy retaliation and accurate shot so he's about the ranged this is my base there's not really much to it there's a pub in it so i can buy some units and i can buy the grotto to sacrifice but no way am i going to do that 7500 it really values that grotto doesn't it hello guys hello hello ashanta 
Whew. Let's save over that. Let's get these guys to join my crew. Let's kill some goblins. Why not? Now, the downside of me having to repeat these levels over and over is I go to a lot of effort when I do play these levels in making sure I lose nothing. So I have to go and do all of that again. And there I lost something. So each time I sort of learn, as a like a computer, I evolve. So he's going to attack, or he's going to try anyway. And we've got to do this without losing a single thing, because this level, like all of them, basically are really bloody hard. They're very punishing at the start. Once you get once you get yourself going, it's not so bad, but generally speaking, it's rough. Very rough. So I know the layout, at least, of this vicinity. So my main goal is ore pit, and then a base, and then a wood. And then that's basically all you get. Then there's like a base down the southwest that you're supposed to go to, but it was very hard. They might have different creatures this time, but the majority of them were ranged, so I would just lose all my forces trying to get down there. There's another base up the northeast, which is where I'm going to go to, but there's a garrison above, which has a lot of units that you can't get through unless you've got a decent army yourself. Oh, that reminds me. I need to come back to base to get this. Get these units. I have to. Every movement point counts, but it's got to be done nonetheless. With a lot of those, though, combat should be relatively easy. I can split them, but let's see if I can get away with just keeping on one tab. And does it win? No, it doesn't. There's no tavern in the city. There's a tavern... No, there's no tavern in either of the cities, but there is a tavern nearby. Where you can purchase a hero from. That accurate shot sound is so distinct. It sounds so separate from the actual combat. Like it's the the actual audio file is so clear. It does take me out sometimes. All in all, Bidley thought he needed to hurry up. Sooner or later, the news of the actions would reach the earwax clogged heads of the local lords, and they would attempt to roust their unwelcome guests out of the area. But swift and determined actions would force those lords to surrender and to assist him in besieging Sargrand. Of course, once Kilgar's henchmen arrive, anyone who had helped him would be executed. But these barbarians are so unprincipled, they're bound to pay for it sooner or later anyways. Komodo height. Let's take this guy down a peg. Don't collect resources with diagonal moves, as they cost 41% more movement. But I've, I didn't know specifically that number, but I heard that there was differences. I don't think I ever really tested it, but I believe it. I'm going to get my ass kicked by these frisky, 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 frisky basilisks. These frisky basilisks. These super, 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 super frisky basilisks. They're so frisky. These frisky basilisks. That was helpful. Oh man. Hey. Ah, I still can't kill him. Cool. Let's hope they don't actually take out any of my units. Excellent. Right. So we've got the skills to look at. He starts off with a fence, which I actually had a quick look before I started the stream, like the tier list of spells. And I was surprised. Not that surprised, actually, because I've, I've taken it quite a few times in the past, because it's just like, oh, it's available, I suppose I'll take... I've taken artillery, but it's way down there, artillery. And understandably so, really, it's not a very good spell. It actually had intelligence in, like, the mid or low tier, which I actually think intelligence is one of the most OP things. Maybe not for PvP, but at least for, you know, these kind of scenarios, where you can just pop back into your base easily and get all your mana back, and then go and with, like, 600 mana and destroy everything but I'm gonna go with offense my plan although whether I get to stick to that will be offense pathfinding logistics uh, navigation because it is a whole it's all about water all these levels are gonna be water so I've got to get navigation uh, wisdom earth intelligence and tactics 
Tactics was actually like the highest tier, but I think that's because it's a PvP thing. I've, I can live without the tactics, but when I was playing this before, I did think to myself, it would be nice to have tactics. If I couldn't get tactics, I'd get diplomacy. That's, that's the ideal situation, but whether everything is available for me or not. I always chose experience because I was like, I'm gonna, this time I'm going to level him up and I can get him lots of skills. <laughs> so whilst he won't have the gold for like the units, he'll have all the skills to carry him. <laughs> Excuse me, double sneeze. Artillery is okay if you use the cannon. Yeah, maybe in that unique situation. So by giving some gems, I get some sorks. So a bit more range to help me out. At level 6. But hang on a second. In this situation, I have to take these resources from a diagonal, don't I? Because otherwise I'm just going here and then going up. It would make more sense to... Like, when you're surrounded by them, you should try to take them up, down, left, right. But in this situation, if I'm going straight up, I may as well take it from a diagonal, shouldn't I? I would think. At level 6, you're guaranteed to have wisdom as one of your skills to pick. I didn't know that. Please enable Gaki, please. I didn't know I hadn't enabled it. But, I mean, I'm not going to worry about doing that now. Hello there, Tainted. If you split sorks, you can debuff more enemies. That's a good tip. I will do that. And I'll split him as well as bait. And then we'll save it. Right. We don't need... We don't even have a spell book, do we? We're just going straight up. Biddley notices the traces of numerous wagons. The fort must be closed. The only thing left is to catch the guards by surprise. So there's experience here, and then there's a base up there. So hopefully we uh, we get to do that. Not a single loss. Oh no, 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 no. It's not going to give me... Th I'd have to restart the level, to be honest, if those are the two choices it's going to force upon me. I get the feeling that no matter what I do... See, I don't like that. Why am I forced to have... Two choices I definitely don't want. Yeah, that's a restart, isn't it? At least it's early on, but I think that's a restart. I don't want either of those. I'm actually forced to take one of the two. Damn, that sucks, man. But there you go. That's how punishing this can be. Off we go. Restart away. I think this time I'm going to go straight to the base and then go there afterwards. That might save me a couple of extra movement points. Movement points. There's always that one, isn't there? I looked it up as well before the stream started again. Wow, that was some damage. And uh, the range penalty. Apparently it's 10 hexes ahead of you. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I think anything from like here onwards, you do half damage. Something to bear in mind if you've got like... Thunderbirds or something and you want to stay out of the enemy's range. In this situation, it would make more sense to go here and then here, wouldn't it? So diagonally down, then go there, pick that up, go there and back. Let's find out, actually. I don't think... 818. Save this as one. You recent, you didn't you recently finish the pirate campaign? No, this is... It's all about pirates. So let's go left first. That's... And then that takes me straight left there. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Let's go there, there. Yeah, it's the same.
I guess I should take them. Free resources. Oh no, didn't get lucky with my accurate shot this time. Nah, I'm going to have to restart that. Oh, that's good. I brought that one down that time. <laughs> oh wow, they're getting really kited this time. Oh no! I did that so well, and then I just get screwed over because he gets morale bonus. Oh, that is some BS right there. Man, do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I do wonder if this game wants me to actually play it. Do you want me to actually play you, or do you want me to just, like, delete you off my system? Accurate shot for the win, except it never happens. Right, that motherfucker gets morale. So, I don't know. Defend? Okay, he doesn't get morale this time. Now that guy's gonna hit me. Oh, this sucks, bros. This sucks. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. If that's the way you want to play it. Not a single accurate shot. Oh, yeah, okay. When he's already dead. Good one. Uh, this is more effort than I should possibly have to put in for such an initial early game fight. I think we can all agree on that. This is a heavy dosage of bullshit. Wow. Um, another restart? Question mark. The fuck is going on? This fucking game is really starting to get my tits now. Yeah, I know a bigger stack of sea dogs has more chance, but it's still RNG. They still have a chance to get accuracy shot, even in like four to fives. Yeah, you're not going to kill one of those, so piss off.
Okay, I'll tell you what. This is it now. One more turn. One more turn. And then I'm just done with this. Because I'm, I'm having such a miserable time every fucking time I'm doing this. Come on. I want to fucking enjoy this. I don't want to fucking fuck around every fucking fuck. I would love to enjoy this fucking game if you would fucking let me do it. See, that time I get accurate shot. The fucking RNG is ruining this experience for me. Would you like some RNG with your RNG? Now that guy's gonna get a turn and kill these. Well, thank fuck he didn't. You better not get morale. I'm gonna fucking flip if he does. How many tries was that? At least I've got different skill opportunities there. You can go out for Sorks, but it's then you mean you have to come back down. So trying to be efficient here, as efficient as I freaking can be. This does not need to be this stressful. Right. Okay, pathfinding. I can work with that. So I have a come and do that, or we just go straight up here, get the base ASAP. The other stressful thing about this is that it never let me do auto combat. Every single fight I had, I would lose a unit or something like that in auto combat. So I would have to do all of these like skirmishes for very minor things. Oh good, she didn't die. That's pretty lucky. Probably have to redo this, but I'm just testing a few. Good. I think I got away with that. That was pretty lucky. Okay. Oh wow, that was very lucky there. I should have moved him back. I don't think he could possibly kill one of those. Just concentrate on hitting these. I'm surprised he got his turn first. Oh, I suppose he's got five movement speed on this desolate ground. I lost one. I guess I'll accept that. <sighs> Stressful. Right. So this base is pretty useless. If I go wolf pen, I can get the cliff nest. So ten five and ten. Get the magic guild. 
Yeah. I'm looking at the day six, is what I'm looking at. Wolf pen, cliff nest on day seven, and then I can get more rocks. Because they'll they're really good. I don't I like don't even want to buy any of this stuff. I'll just save my money. First is that stuff. No, I didn't mean to move him that far forward. If I get lucky, I can kill him. Yep. <laughs> I didn't mean to move him so far forward. I like that these guys have 15 health. That makes a big difference. If they had 10 health, I'd lose them like every single time. I do want to fight them. I want to fight everything that gives me experience. Well, this has been a bit more stressful than I was hoping. And this isn't even the hard part. The hard part is when the computer just turns up and is typically about six times stronger than you. So they only cast two spells, but they keep casting the same one. So I guess they can bring them down to zero and zero, which is pretty insane. Makes them very weak. Did I not take the go goblins? I suppose I didn't. Yeah, that's fine. There we go, cliff nest. Scout oh yeah yeah. Scouts report that something's happening. That's what that's what the scout said. Right. Uh boom. I'm gonna upgrade those as well. I know there's a magic gear to get as well, but I want my rocks. The challenging part is can I go through the garrison up here? If I could, that would be a nice shortcut. This is where I'm not sure where to go. There's a long way to get up there, and you go all the way back through here, but that uses up a lot of movement points. There's nothing too interesting there. This stuff has a few resources and that, but the creatures are way too tough, but I can still come down that way whilst I'm building up the base and then come back, back to it. <gasps> Excuse me. Well, I've got hiccups now, I guess. I don't even think they'll be able to kill one of my rocks. No, they can't. That's the beauty. They got 60 health. They're so fast. They're really good. So I can use them to tank a little bit as well. Can't really do much with them now, though. I feel like I should almost just try to move out of his way or something. Everything I have is faster than he is. Huh. Uh, I guess I might be buying another one of those then. Uh, he wasn't strong enough to finish it. How much damage did he do? He did 28 damage, so he'd still kill a rock.
Well, that was cool. So, well, I'm not going to say no to logistics, but I'm interested in tactics at some point. I should buy those because they're tanky as well, 40 health. But they are slow as well. Do I really want them? We want to get to the Cyclops cave. And I'm not going to have that much money. By the time I've got Ogre 4, I've got Cyclopses, I'm not going to have that much money. In an ideal world, you would buy these, but I'm thinking that I'm not going to have enough cash to make them worthwhile. And I feel like they're not going to do much. So I'm going to say no. It looks like you've got the same creatures you have to fight against, which is a bit of a downer because those creatures are bloody tough. That's plus one combat speed, which almost makes it worthwhile. I'll have to see what I lose. Oh, sorry. My bad. Need to find a position for those rocks so they can... Um, let's test this. So we've got two rocks in the mid positions. If we fight these... Where do the rocks go? Neither can reach. They can hit 10 yards in front of them. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten. So from there, should be close enough. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Looks like I'll probably lose one pirate. Ah, but if you get the ten back, you can't reach. I mean, that's a fairly fine result. I don't really want to lose, like, anything. So I'm going to move these aggressively this time and see what they do. Yeah. What if I do a defend with my pirate? He'd probably still die. Yeah, he'd still die because the numbers are higher. In fact, you actually have to lose up more. So you're going to lose one pirate. Which filter am I using from my HD launcher? What do you mean exactly? I'm using Hota HD. Um, I run it as h3hotahd.exe. This time I'm going to hit the bottom one. Just to see if that makes any difference. It won't. Okay, one is okay, considering that ring is pretty damn amazing. Plus one movement speed could be very handy in um, a lot of circumstances. So we want Ogre Fort, which is wood, next. We might have to get the resource. That's a lot of gold in itself, yeah. There's a good chunk of wood here. I wouldn't normally want to fight these, but... Again, we might just have to lose... That's the problem I have with the bottom left. Although I think it's easier than the going the bottom top right at the same time. You still lose so much going this way. It's hard to do these fights without losing so, so much. you just got to take a hit for the team.
ideally, I don't want him reaching that guy. See, I was hoping they'd do that. I'd rather they go for the pirates. Hopefully they don't actually... Yeah, they don't. Okay. That ain't great. Oh, yeah, you're right. Level 6. You get wisdom. But I do need wood. So I think I have to take the hit for the team. We don't need to kill those for experience. We want this, though. So you get free resources down here, and I can't really do those. That is the problem with the bottom left. You can't really... There's so much range. That's so, so strong. Resource silo it is. Take computer roll. One pirate and one seaman. I lost four pirates when I did it. I don't know how you could do it otherwise. What the computer roll was this. Four one one. So I lost a rock, basically, if I let the computer fight. Otherwise the result was almost the same. Billy had a strange dream last night. He dreamed that he was sailing across the sea and could see through the water as clearly and distinctly as if he was looking over the horizon. He could also breathe underwater. What could this mean? Were these his nostalgic memories of the seas, or was it merely a dream? I think I said yesterday that it meant that he was Aquaman. That was how that worked. That's Armourer. At least it was last time. But I'm not going to pick it this time. Ah, Ogre Fort now. We've got the ball rolling. We can't get Behemoth Crag. You do need... Don't you need um, Crystal to upgrade the Cyclops Cave? I feel like you need Crystal to upgrade it. I kind of want to hang around and get a few bits here, but that's it. That's your lot. I mean, that's a warehouse. That's like 10 crystal. It'll be worth me getting um, a second hero. If I buy those, I won't be able to afford... <laughs> The second hero. Unless I get the gold from here. There's also the mage guild to get. I still haven't got that yet. Ah, oh, movement speed here. I forgot about that bloody item. Oh, he's going straight forward. He's not being distracted. Still get the second hero though. Leave the cows alone. I'm sorry, but they're guarding a very precious movement speed item. Oh no, I don't want any, either of those heroes. <laughs> they're both useless. Maybe I see what I can get. I mean, the rangers might be interesting. <laughs> 
But really, I should just get Pyrus. I think I'll just wait until the next week. Maybe if I come for the resource... Yeah, you come down here so you can get the faster movement speed in the first place. Upgraded Cyclops K. Yeah, you did need Crystal for it. And also you get Crystal from here, so I think it's worth coming down here one last time. Oh, there's a computer. He's already starting to make his move. Get your movement speed. Get your 10 Crystal. Your, well, 6 Crystal. I guess it ain't 10. Still. Better than nothing. Now, what you need, the Cyclops Kings and the Thunderhawks, and that's it. I don't bother with the other stuff, like I told you. It'd be nice to get, like, the Ogres and all that, or buy them, but by the time you've bought this stuff, you don't have money. I'm pretty much bankrupt. That should be it. Get some goblins for free. Back in a quick moment. Okay. Hom can also see you as well, Tega. He's looking straight back at you. So we've got Pathfinder Logistics Wisdom. Oh, we've got to get the Mage Guild as well. That's, yeah, that's tomorrow then. Get the Mage Guild and you're in a good spot. Got to upgrade those guys as well. This is much better though. I actually have some units I can fight. So we either go through the garrison, which is quite a lot of units, to probably an easier top right, or we go bottom left and try to fight the computer down there. I think this would be a very important place to sort of save it and find the turning point. Uh, I'm going to go back a save or two then. No, not that far. So that's 12.58. That's 12.55. Yeah, all we did was come back that way. what we need is we need to have exactly the right amount of resources so that we can upgrade the Cyclopses and get the Mage Guild as well. So we get the upgraded Cyclopses. Mage Guild is five we also need the gold, so mercury. I'll sell mercury. So you need that for that, and then you need gold just in general. I've got a few spare resources there that I can sell. Even some crystal, I think. I'll sell five of it. I don't think I need crystal for much else after that. The downside is you can't get mage guild, can you? Yeah, you can still get mage guild. Just not mage guild level two. How much is that? Oh, you can't get that anyway. Let's hope we got some good spells from Mage Guild. Bugger. He gave me the same spells as last time. It's fixed. 
None of them are useful in combat whatsoever, apart from Cure. They're absolutely awful. So it's almost not worth it. But there you go. It is what it is. Right. Come here. Upgrade these. Buy these. Buy these. And you still have money. That's the point. could almost get ogres or something, but I wouldn't. I think I'll just leave it as it is now. Oh, there's the second hero, potentially. I could use as a mule or something. There's not much else to do in this base now. Are there any strat requests for today? I don't believe so, no. Hey, he's actually got some pretty good units. Hello. Four Stormbirds is quite a lot, really, for a... I think they increase the amount of units that neutral unit uh, heroes and that start off with. Do we try to go through the garrison? That's the question. Save it at R1. That's the turning point. If we can get through it... Oh, wow. Very good result. I think it's worth going top right then, not bottom left. I think, I'm hoping top right will be easier. One sea dog this time instead of a rock. So they're taking out my sea dogs. Oh, he's only got one health as well. It could have been two sea dogs. I don't think so, just in case they kill one of my units. Good. Good boys. Yeah, that's a good result. I was actually tempted with leadership. I'm still going to go for the abilities I've got listed, but leadership actually was quite cool with this guy. More turns on, like, the pirates and stuff like that was pretty handy. But we're going with advanced logistics. I didn't even consider... I think that's a one-way street. That's a block. So, if we can kill these without losing anything, that would be a pretty big buff. So, this is definitely the right way to go, I think, the bottom left. But then I don't know that. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Those Cyclopses. You're not messing around with those Cyclopses, are you? It actually makes sense to wait, because they can apply more negative to the defense, which means I should do more damage. Oh, lovely, lovely. Four defense. Not bad at all. And then we fight our way up, because all of this is kind of like... A terror, you know, you go all the way around here and then come back up here. So this is where you need to go. You want to go up here. And then I don't know, I have not been up here, but past these ogres, I would think you go directly northeast. Oh, there's a big old stack of them. You can run circles around them if they don't get morale bonuses. I'm 
I'm so scared about them getting that morale though. How do I know if they can get morale or not? If they've got just one bar in it, does that mean that it's still possible? It means yes. Okay. What's the percentage chance though? Is it like 15% or something? One other way to fix this is just to throw those Cyclopses out. They're slightly more tankier with more health and defense. So then the Ogres go for those. It is plus one is one out of 24 chance. So it's a one in 24 chance that you get plus one move. Damn, that's, that's low. And then it's one in 12, then it's one in eight. So they should pretty much never have it happen. Uh, Ballista Yard. No, never mind. A crewman ran to Bidley this morning, handing me a letter that had arrived, la arrived last night. The pirate was quite surprised he would send him a letter. But after unwrapping the parchment, he recognized the familiar handwriting. It included only a message saying, I have some problems, your dear brother Jay. Ooh, I don't know. This doesn't look like it's going northeast. Where are we where are we going? Where is the rum gone? Those Thunderbirds are definitely go. I could kill these just for experience. Yes. Yes. Oh, bloody hell. I don't even... I didn't learn a spell book, did I? Oh, bugger. Uh, it's too late to go back on a save now. That's not ideal, though. No wonder I don't have spells. I didn't actually learn it in the Mage Guild. Mm, I'm genuinely considering going back. Quite a few saves. There we go. Terrible. Hey, Canton Tour, thank you. I have some spells now, Canton Tour. Makes me feel like a big man. I'm gonna throw the Cyclopses in front so that maybe they tank the orcs. Maybe. I'll see what the orcs do. No, they still go for the sea dogs. Okay. So then I'm going to try defending with the sea dogs. Or maybe they'll go for that. So hit with you. Defend. See if I can do this without losing a sea dog as well. The sea dog challenge. Damn. Okay. New challenge. Take some completely useless nymphs. Thank you. 
Yay! They took the bait. would have lost no pirates if he didn't what is it with them getting this weird morale are they get more morale than i fucking do i don't like your haircut oh i don't like your attitude johnny casey but here we are okay trying to take on the fire elementals now I did get that spell book, didn't I? Did I do it again? Oh my god, there must be something... There must be something about that spell book. I just hate to learn spells or something, I don't know. Right. This is how you do it. You save now. That way the, the spells are learnt. I'm gonna go there. Time to get lucky. See if I lose a rock by throwing him right in there. I would think I'd do. Yeah. So you can't do that. I'm still very early on in this level. This is still very early on, so this is going to be a big one. Do I have no good spells? Hmm, that's pretty handy. That's pretty real handy. Unless I lose the rocks. I'm going to use Cure so I don't. But the idea is that they come down here and hit them and they can't be hit by those ones at the top there. Did I lose a rock? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I bloody did, didn't I? I thought they're supposed to be faster. Never mind. Whatever. It's a hard knock life. It's a very hard knock life. What can I do? To not get completely wrecked every time. What's the solution to not getting wrecked? Right. Only two of them can hit me at most if I come down for you. now one, and he's not going to be able to kill. Q. 
Okay. I kill three of them if I attack into that. That's dead. These are basically dead. So, I take the gamble. I think I don't take the gamble. I think I just cure. So they can't actually somehow just hit me and take a unit out. They'll go for the nymphs, most likely. Yep. Even better. So the only thing I lost was the expendable troops. So I'm going to save that as one. And there you go. Now we move. Of course we don't lose it. Oh, they split into three groups. These ones. They were two groups before, so I must be a bit weaker. Oh, it's because I haven't got the pirates with me. Let's see if we can do this without them. No problem. I'll save myself some movement speed as well. You can have those back. You can take one of those. Enjoy. Polo Man. Thank you very much there. Denmark, Jagger for our Denmark. I just wanted it to try and say something in different languages than English, Kappa. Well, you just did. It come out of Stenmach. Jeg er fra Danmark. Yep. I'm a native speaker of the Danishness. Hi, hi, hi. Wow, these guys are... So th now we play the morale game. Oh, no we don't, because we just walk into them and get... They move further than I remember them moving. I thought they used to have like three movement speed, but they have four. Oh cool, come back up there. Reza 9090, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome. An accuracy shot straight to the chest, shall we be polite? Straight to the chest. Nowhere else. Is that his chest? Okay. So he hasn't got morale. It's got to be down to zero defense. Yeah. That, that's a good idea to split those into two stacks. Bring Tabajo back. Oh, I'll bring something back. But I'm... You know, I do quite a lot above a bitch, you know. I'm not saying streaming is hard work. But I'm saying I have less time, ironically, when I'm spending it playing video games than when I was actually working. The stream goes on for like six hours, but really it's more like six and a half hours or so of preparing for it. And then the aftermath, it takes me two to three hours to then edit the videos, upload the videos, do the tags, do the thumbnails, all that kind of stuff. If there are any videos. If there's not, then I'll, I get a bit of a break, but normally there is. So it's at least one video or something like that. So I find that by about... 9 o'clock-ish, I should be pretty much free. And that gives me f two to three hours to then, I don't know, peruse the forums and read. Because I like to spend like at least an hour reading before going to bed. And then I start all over again. I think I can go up that way. Although it doesn't hurt to just go here and then back up there. Trolling the forums. I used to troll the forums a lot. 
But that was like 10 years ago. Kaka! Hmm. I see. I see. You are a pirate. I'm not a pirate. You're a pirate. Did I lose another one of those buggers? I should just not u attack with those things. Keep them back. They enjoy dying. I don't enjoy them dying. But they can't help themselves. Ah, so if I do melee attack and then come here... That's so cool that you can do that now. It's a small thing, but it was really handy. Can't you hire someone to do that job for you? I mean, for editing and the rest. No, I would. I don't want to. If anything, I'm changing it back around so that I have complete control. I prefer to do everything myself. Because then I know and I understand how everything works. And that is invaluable to me. I never used to know how to make thumbnails or anything like that. I had to learn how to do all that myself. But that's now a skill I have. I'm going to lose one of those Cyclopses. Tricky. Tricky indeed. I will get through this. I will find a way. Pretty sure they shouldn't be able to take out one of those birds. They did 14 damage, and no, they didn't take out one of the birds. That echo. Also handle a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, Fred. It was seven hundred thousand subs. There's like four other people than me that has control. It's scary knowing that one person could fuck it all up and delete something invaluable. Indeed, Fred. Indeed. Everything will be okay, Fred. I'm gonna pat your head. Put your head where my hand is, Fred. Right now. Let me know when you've done it. You there? Okay, good. There, there, Fred. Everything will be okay. I'll tussle your hair a little bit. There you go. You'll be alright. Oh, good. I get to increase my eagle eye skill by 15%. Cyclops cave. This place is spooky. Spells are so, so, so bad. I like how the sea dogs do 108 damage 
And because they get the accurate shot, it still only kills the one stack. So the accurate shot basically did two damage. Nah, didn't get RNG there. Yeah, the sea pirates are kind of inconsequential at this point. So they go down. Could be an acceptable loss. I didn't know they did like a flat 30 damage. Did they get buffed or something? Flat 30 damage is pretty good. But then again, they are like tier 6. Theoretically, they shouldn't be able to kill one of my Thunderhawks when they return fire here. Good, they didn't. I think that's a pretty good result. Next step, Cyclops Cave, which I don't think is going to be particularly easy. Oh, it was. Alright, there you go. I'll take those crewmates off you, and I'll buy some Cyclopses. And next, we take on the Pegasus. So this is all going, you know, well, as well as it can possibly go, I think. But we've got to get up here and actually have an impact on the computer. Otherwise, he's still just going to kill me. If the computer just destroys me, I don't know what to do, to be honest. Just give up. HOM5 is the best, hands down. I agree, Sale. HOM5 is the best Heroes of Might Magic game. I totally agree. Nice little horsies. Right. Let's go back up. Don't need the Cyclops thingy-majig. Those creatures are quite tough. I think just concentrate on going to the right. Look, there's clearly a base. Because there's all this stuff. Oh no. This is where they start to break through. Yeah, this is roughly where I got to. Like I was it's, this is actually a bit quicker. They're breaking through. He's got a very small army though. And he won't be able to get there before day uh next day, day 1. This is, I'm going to go with attack. I want to go straight to where the base is as well. If I get that base, I can actually maybe complete this level. If he kills me, then... Oh, that guy I've got to kill for a quest. I don't know if I even picked up the quest for that, though. But there is a quest to kill this guy. Alright, well, let's come out of that. Have I completed the Unholy Alliance campaign? 
Yes. I did. I completed everything before Horn of the Abyss, which is basically the entire Heroes of Might Magic 3 saga. Wagon. This time I'm going to kill some dwarfs. Magic. I have a leadership. I don't know. I mean, he is a salty sea pirate. What do you think? Leadership? I mean, this is one of the spells that I don't want because it means I'd have to sacrifice intelligence or tactics. You could just go leadership and then as long as he gets earth magic then and gets slow... Leadership is DEC. I dislike water magic, but it has its uses. Your magic is bad. Go for leadership. Mm. Yeah. Damn. Well, we can't make him as perfect as I'd like, but leadership will still work. I'll just maybe have to sacrifice tactics. Tactics is pretty awesome, actually. I really quite like it. A, it's a convenience, isn't it? But you can still do fine without it. You just have to basically try hard and repeat yourself over in combat. Because I'm, I'm not playing against another player here. Right. Is this going to work for me? No. So, what do I do? I think... Come back to base, maybe. Roll it back. Get some buffs. And get the units. And then you get the women. And then I go attack. Hello, Arnas. It's possible I could take these guys on. I don't... I mean, there's a nice bunch of loot that they're guarding. There's only one way to find out. I only lost three, actually. That's pretty damn good. And those those are bonus units, anyway. I've had them for ages. They came from a hero. Oh, imagine getting magic shot versus these. That would be pretty sweet. But no, you don't want to get magic shot versus these, do you? You could have. There's nothing to stop you. But you chose not to. Okay, that was easier than I was expecting. And that's a nice chunk of loot. Do we go through here? This looks like a dead end. The only way we do it, we just see if there's anything there. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it didn't look like it was even worth it, even if it cost me nothing. But that's going to cost me, like, everything. 
Well, that is what it is, Cool Blade. You just have to handle it. I find the new faction shit. Barely get to play it so far. All of the buildings are always cut off. You can't build anything with it. I miss my love bits notification feels bad, man. Well, I'll give back my wallet and I might consider putting it back. So we got these. May as well get upgraded ogres next, I guess. That's the next one on the line. Not that I can even buy many of them, but... He could do a trip to the trading post. And I'll make a way back. Oh, see, he's he's coming. I would do it, but I lost it, Kappa. Well, there you go. It's just things we've got to live with, mate. It's life. No one said it would be easy. Boom. Get me that dim there, Ogres. Lucky charms. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, he's pretty scary. Ah, uh, he didn't. Oh, Faye's got a new look. That's not how he used to look. Now he looks like a Warcraft character. I was hoping you give me logistics. I'm going off track here, to be honest. I'm not supposed to be going this way. Getting a bit carried away. I should go back. We're not doing that until we take this base at the top right. As long as we get the base at the top right, then we've got two bases first is this one down here. And then the the northwest is where you need to go in the end, so I just need to not lose versus the computer. That's the main bloody thing. Might be able to get some upgraded orcs as well. Okay, they look quite good. But they made him look more like pigmen. I got quite a bit of gold spare for like other stuff, but I don't think I want any of that other stuff. Right. Let's get ah oh, bugger. Alright. A little bit inefficient. I normally like to be as like efficient as I can, but you think I've been trying to be as efficient as I can be for like a whole month now. After that I can sort of be a bit more lax. But we want to get those upgraded. Boom. That's a lot of units to play with. That's a lot more than you had before. It's day seven soon. I may as well just hang around. See if I've got enough gold for it. I'll just stay here just to make sure I get enough gold. That is quite a lot of faffing about. Screw it. 
give me whatever I can get. I want the rest of those. And I'll take an ogre. And an orc. Right. Now we've got to go fight Jabarkus. He might consider himself cocky enough to take me on. Or I could just go right past him. I want to get this Cyclops cave. And get a couple of those. Bring those back, upgrade them. I'm going to go right past him and go straight to his base. Make him come back for it. He's stuck up there now. Oh, even then there's still a lot to fight. But it's only Faye that's defending. Oh well, Sea Dogs did well, didn't they? Okay. Let's just go for it. I would smash one of the walls, but I don't trust it. It normally just break one of the walls down here or something crappy. There we go. So many crappy units getting destroyed here. Wait a second. Oh, they got the escape tunnel. <sighs> Computer loves to flee. Oh, I'm going to Mage Guild level 2 in the hopes that I get something I can cast. Ice Bolt. Should have gone in water magic, eh? Kappa. Right, well, that cost me a lot of units. But I guess at least that's done. Now we just see what the guy at the top does. So now we've got this base. I don't think there's going to be any of the computers there. So we can just head back. Maybe try to take care of Jabarkus. Or sneak past him and go back to my base for day seven. Day one. This is nice. We'll leave this. Cyclops cave would be good. Yeah, he's going, he's messing around with that. It's a bit of a weird, yeah, there is a quest to kill Chewbacca's, but I haven't picked it up. It's elsewhere. Not much I can do at the moment other than just keep my distance from him. Okay, I need to move further back. Uh. Yeah, he doesn't... I don't think they have vision of this area. Uh, maybe with the garrison they did, though. Day 7. You're so close. 
You're so close. Go get some luck. And come back. Ah. Uh, downside is, I think he's broken free into that territory. Right. We'll get the good stuff. And I'm not actually worried about the orcs. The other base. Ah. Uh, could I have got Cyclops Cave the previous turn? If I give enough resources, I can. And what Gul'dan... What must we give in return? 20 ore. You get movement speed on the slowest unit on your army. Yeah, I know of that one. It's okay, though. You're okay. Didn't upgrade the stupid things, did I? Full of mistakes today. Let's get the ogres as well. Just take it off him. I'm so much faster than he is. I said this before in a previous play, but the ogres are quite tough to kill. You always end up stacking more of those. You lose other units, but the ogres never seem to stop. If he wants to go down there, I could just come straight down to the bottom left base and try to take that. Like right, this is the next crossroads we're at. Take the other computer base. whilst I'm building up this one. Or at least getting the units from it. Yeah, looks like he's making a move back to the top. Oh, that's Subin. <laughs> that's just Subin. You know what Subin's like. He can't help himself, that guy. If you ever want to trade resources, trade in the trade post outside the castle. Yeah, I know that, but it's, sometimes you can't always reach there. And you just want the resources. Yeah, that's right. You don't even want to fight. These guys do, though. But they lose! That's right. Oh no, this guy actually wanted to fight me. He only had like four rogues there. What the hell? Oh, he's got good stats there. We've got to get to him fast, boys. Hey! Oh man, I'm still going to lose. I guess I underestimated that one. Try and cast your fancy magic on me now. 
I only bought like 10 of them. I could have bought more. I can afford more. I just thought, well, he's only got four. Should be able to beat that. Ah, okay. For some reason that time that scared him off. That's right. Run away. It's nice stats here. Base has got to be down there, though. But I'm going to grab the stats. Elvis Sight. Choo choo. Thank you very much for the cash. I'm probably dead in a second. You just bought 20 to 49. Upgrade one to five level creatures for double price. I thought it was supposed to be cheaper. Never mind. Oh man, that's a bit of a trick. No. We will fight. Stab him up. Stab him up. Okay. I'm going to buy him over here. we can. I made it. Oh my god. It wasn't even guard in this base. Look how upgraded this base is. Wow. I just got this base for free. That was the right decision. So now we just got to bounce back and forth and defend versus... I don't know if he's got a they, they must have a base up here, but you're not supposed to be able to take it yet. Subterranean gate. Alright. I'll see you later. I've got to get back up there. I wouldn't mind the units, though. Worst case scenario, I just run away. So I'm going to hang around this area. Ooh. Ooh, he's kind of really strong. They're all ways really strong, aren't they? I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna get back in base. If I kill him while he's in a boat, would that do it? I don't have to fight him, though, to be fair. Oh, look who decided to show up on the minimap. Mr. Smog. I can't seem to get out of this smog situation. Why do they keep putting it in these games? Oh, you got sanded.
Easy pickings. Looks like the sand is working in my favour now, boys. It's my time to sand. Thought that might happen. This is still going really well, though. Really well. Yay. Damn, that was really good. Oh, he couldn't escape. He had shackles. Why do we fight? I don't know. Because we feel like it. Why not, I suppose. I mean, look at all that stuff. I should send a hero out into the ocean to explore. I want to get Ballista, though. May as well treat myself. Now we go back and just keep dealing with the computer. You can hold on to the troops. It's like a weird dead end. I think we're in a good spot. My hero is pretty crazy strong. Twenty one stats on attack. If I put that on I mean I have I can't surrender anyway, so I may as well keep that on so the computer can never get out. Have a mass do 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 Thank you. Treat yourself. Treat yeet self. Where did the yeet meme come from? Do they teach the yeet meme in schools these days? Is it really important to our kids' education? I'll just give a bunch of stats to things. Screw it. To throw with ye figure. What yeet means to throw with vigor. The hell's that got to do with anything? Whoa. Okay. Casual plus six power. I want to get the Cyclops Cave. I've got the three orc bases. Oh, he's coming down there, is he? Oh, Jabarkus! You've done some travelling in your time. I think I could go back to base and then come back for Jabarkus. I could have bought the ogres, actually. On my way. Never mind. I didn't. It's only four. Everything. When do I play Warcraft 3? Whenever I beat this bloody level. It's a very nasty level. It's a tavern in the sea. I'm gonna get killed by another hero soon. Yeah, he's around there. Jabarkus, no! We need to talk about this. Who keeps leaving these powerful power skill breastplates in the ocean? He 
He could make a break for it. He's going to go for it. I uh, wondered if he was going to do that. But the good news is he didn't have quite enough movement speed to get in there either. So I can get him. And then I have to just go around clearing up the rest of the level. We just keep the computer on tabs. Then I can go around enjoying the rest of the level. It's kind of what I want to want to do with this game. So many bad spells. Which one to pick, eh? Which terrible spell to pick first? That offense is really working for me. Big time. The amount of damage I'm doing is ridiculous now. Yes. What? What was that, Avama? <laughs> Just casually. Yeah, that how what do you what do you think of the um alert Avermast? Is that good? How's that alert working for you? It's pretty special, isn't it? Pretty hype. Very special indeed. Oh, boots of spread. Almost as hype as Avermast, but not quite. Avermast does surpass the boots of speed. Thank you very much, Avermast, for a very generous 50 quid tip there. You are, of course, entitled to, you know, several uh, requests. So if you have any in mind, feel free to let me know. Whilst I wear this Cyclops thingy, majig. And we take back our base. Okay, play a game on stream. Alright, well... Wait. Is that a request? Play a game on stream? I've completed your request already. I'm playing Heroes of Might and Magic. Free. Work complete, as Grubby would say. What's your next request? It's like a genie. Uh, you get free wishes. What did they say? Like you, the guy who ends up getting like free wishes ends up wasting like two of them just asking questions initially, in his first conversation with the genie. I think it's a, there's a joke about that somewhere, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Skamaz, skamaz. Well, the good news is, is we've got free bases, and the computer doesn't look like he's in a position to take them back. So that's awesome, wonderful news. So all I have to do now is push him back to a point where he can't even come out of his base, and then I can enjoy exploring the map. So that's the idea. I think it's always the best spot. For me personally, I enjoy Heroes of Might Magic 3 the most when I just get to explore, kill the creeps, combat, gather resources. I don't really enjoy the back and forth between the computer that much. It's actually one of the least enjoyable aspects for me. At least in Heroes of Might Magic 3. So if I can ju the My best goal really is just to kill the computer at the start. If I kill the computer, I actually win, but I don't want to do that. I just need to keep him pinned so he can't do anything. There's freaking leprechauns! And they've got Avamast's pot of gold. I have to look see what they look like.
Ever tried Definity Original Sin? I'm gonna look it up now. I'm sure I have. The name is super familiar. My request is win a game. What? Did you just do it again? Because I don't actually have proper request um sounders in and stuff like that, it always feels like it's not actually real. <laughs> Adam Haas, my request is win a game. Alright. I reckon I can try that. I don't... Next to Divine. Before you venture forth into the huge and sprawling realm of Rivalon, however, you need to decide what role. I haven't play. played that actually, but that looks but really quite nice. It, perhaps a flesh eating elf, or even an undead dwarf. Or take on one of six origin to the play. I think I played the original Definity. I'm not sure. But I don't I definitely haven't played the second one. Oh, Definity. That isn't Definity. It's not the overly complex one, is it? Because I I've I it might be the overly complex one. Where there's like twenty billion ways to kill the creatures or something like that. So I'm not so sure if I'm interested in that, because I feel like the combat is going to be even more convoluted than Heroes of Might Magic 3 is. There's like... 20 tons of chat. It looks like a nice game, though. Boulder's Gate kind of style. But I, I prefer those... I prefer them to be somewhat linear, not too overly complicated with like 20,000 combat texts. Or just text in general. Um, yeah. Avamast. I don't know if that's a YouTube video though, is it? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Win a game. Surprisingly difficult to do sometimes for me. Ah, my lucky charms. Doubles friendly unit luck chance. Cast fortune. Oh my god. It is like walking into the wrong part of town in Ireland. Gonna get wrecked. Ho oh. ho. Oh, mate. Do not mess with leprechauns. Thank you, Bogdanov. Looks like I'll be getting back in my boat. So we've got that damn smog machine. There's a computer over here, so we need to head back to our original base. Even though I was kind of going this way. Just skipped past the bridge. Wow. It's like it doesn't want you to have fun. All these spells disrupting Ray. Who wants that? Seriously. Won't be taking our pot of gold. My brother in a fight. <laughs> they are scary. I didn't mean to upset them. I just I wanted to get close enough to get a look. That's all. I didn't want to get beaten to a pulp. Ah oh, no, no no no. Zubin! Oh, he returns. The masterful Subin returns. Oh well. Let's buy everything then. It won't be enough to stop him. I'm almost certain of that, but... Screw it, eh? At least he won't be able to buy units from the base. Right. This level, though. This... That dem dare level. What is Soren's eye doing on top of the stronghold? What is Soren's eye doing in Warcraft 3? It's there when you search for games. Subin. Stop being rude. If 
Okay. How much do you want? Well, that's 10,000 gold, isn't it? Taint cheap. Look at those units, though. Subin's days are numbered. Alright, let's start to speed through this now. He says after spending almost three months in this bloody level. I can't believe it. I'm the first on the ocean. Looks like it was a good thing I killed that computer before he got into the ocean. Otherwise, he'd get all this free loot. I gotta say though, the level design does look nice, at least aesthetically. You know, it does look like a piratey place. Like this is the land. This definitely looks. I mean, that's a pretty treacherous looking water. Every everything's gonna kill you. Right, let's upgrade you. I mean, my army looks pretty freaking sick now. Let's go punish Subin for being annoying. And then go scout the east hand side. I don't even want to lose a single thing here. Unless he casts a spell. He casts it on the Ogre Magi. Yay. Okay. I lost more than I should have done there. I'm, st I'm still even min-maxing this. Spent two hours more on Ufa Party to find the Lich level. Nothing, I guess. It was included in order to troll people. Ah, just accept it. Screw it. Just accept it and move on. I'm going to go down this way. Carry on grabbing the bits. I'm gonna get an army down here. Yeah, I think that's it now. He might either build another unit hero from the base or he just won't bother now. Which means that I can just start living. At last I live. Now I've got to look something else up. The suffer. Pain and suffering are all that await you. I love this so much. Look at what you made me do. Yes, you stay with us now. I want the anger guy. At last I live. Some of you might know what it is. There you go. He says, "Beware, I live." I think that's. I think that's what the Fire Lord says when he, um, when you get him from the tavern. It's one of my favourite quotes. It's so fucking badass. Have I played or were I ever interested in Civilization or the Shogun games? Shogun. I feel like I played one of those, but Civilization, not enough to get into the series. I never got into the series at any point, and. Yeah, I, I don't see it. Shogun video game. Wasn't that like a first-person shooter where you go into a giant mech? Oh, no, that's not. 
That's Shogun Total War. Oh, I've not played that. Beware, I live. Damn straight. You would beware of that guy. Not messing around, that guy is. Alright, so I think I'm just going to make all my heroes sleep now. Almost. I'll just see if there's anything worth picking up. There's no stats here, is there? There's a third level spell. But pretty much going to go AFK with everyone because they're, they're, their movement points are just a waste of time. The main thing is, is this guy does what he does. Oh, this was a dead end, wasn't it? Alright, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get in the boat then. We'll swap places. That's it. That's it, boys. We did it. We'll just go AFK now with the other guys. So she can go inside the base. Go AFK. And then it's just him. He actually hasn't got navigation, has he? Ooh, there is some stats. Fifteen spell p oh I see. So this is the PvE part. It's only taken me like two hours to get to this point. Rancor on Rancor Violence. I feel like Witty would appreciate Ivan's lines more. Who's Ivan? Maybe I can go kill those leprechauns. Are you okay with me killing the leprechauns, Avermost? Ivan from Red Alert 2. Oh, I never played Red Alert series. I heard it was for nerds. He's a psycho that plants bombs. Speaking of planting bombs, there's landmines there. Kill him. Alright. It's time to get revenge versus the leprechauns who beat me up so badly. They're basically stronger dwarfs, aren't they? Your luck is not welcome here. No RNG, please. That boat looks weird when it's, like, north. Damn. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Show me the way of the giant eyeball. I don't know why I'm fighting this. Why am I doing that? I've got really aggressive since fighting those leprechauns. Remove obstacle. Like, what are these spells? Who wants these spells? Town gate. We're going to get town gate. Destroy undead. I mean, at least that's an aggressive spell, but it's specifically against undead, which I don't think there's that many of them on this level. Hey, hey, hey. I think I'll win at the point. Complete those seer quests. Yeah, I'll be coming. I'll, I'll basically be going around doing everything. Like, this campaign is too bloody difficult not to min-max my character.
Oh, you can't be upgraded, huh? How about now? Eh? Yeah. How's that look? Good? Yeah, that's what I thought. Thunderbirds are a bit like Pog Champ, aren't they? You can see, like, you can see it in everything, can't you? Oh. And a window. That's not it. I'm starting to get easily distracted now. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> I, I see these things. I don't know if it's a gift, but I see these things. Okay. Back to business. Okay, so we got that, we got that. There's a quest here to kill some undead dudes or something like that. I don't care that much. Let's get the other spell here. Let's do everything in this facility. We've got that. Alright, that quest is gone. So we don't need anything from up there. There is that. Let's get that done. Fields of glory. Hmm. Is that beneficial to the uh, de devils? Right, okay, so we've got pretty much everything now, so we're just going to go back to here. Or we can clear up this bit up here, just because I can. Just to teach the computer a lesson. Okay, now come back to here. This time we go this way. Whatever. Ah, there it is. So, let's see, shall we? We've got a fence. We've got pathfinding. We've got logistics. We've got navigation. We've got wisdom. Right. The three that I would like would be Earth, Intelligence, and Tactics. So, Earth at the very least. I don't think there's anything worth doing here. Apart from that. Nope. I always used to take air magic. Not anymore. Don't even want to join. Sure, give me a level. I can't have there. It's rooster, by the way. Am I writing on paper? Of course I am. 
Why, do you expect me to go alt-tab and start typing into a notepad or something? When I can write on a piece of paper that's right in front of me. Hello, Death Knight. How's it going? I'll just do this just in case it gives you anything, but it doesn't. It's just resources. Yeah, it said the leader's dead. You get 25 core seers if you killed Jabarkus. There you go. That's it, more or less. So that's all done. So we're actually not too far off the end of the level anyway. I'll just tying up the loose ends. Probably should be strong enough to just go straight for the base. <laughs> I lost one goblin. Yeah, I might be strong enough now. Right. Anything in here? I don't think so. You can get some special stuff up there. I'm not even sure how you get up there. Oh, you go for the ogres. Alright, that's it, I think. Oh, God. It's going to make me lose, though. Why am I losing? All right, well, I guess I just, um... Wait a bit longer. It's Heroes of Might Magic 2 style. Where the last base is, you know... Oh. sure what's going on anymore. Where is she going? It's because you're blocking the way. I wanted to get to the hill fort. <laughs> it's just both come down here actually. It's quicker and easier. And you get your upgrades there. Man, this is so messy. It's alright, I know what I'm doing. Use your daddy works. Right. I do like that music. Well, this is going on record as one of the longer levels I've ever had to beat. Considering I've had to do this a second time as well. Didn't I even restart it? Oh, I restarted it because I've got bad abilities.
Thank you.